Hi, my name is Nick Chan. I've been a photographer for six years now. When it comes to photography, obviously there's important things like your camera or your tripod and SD cards. But when it comes down to it, the most important thing is your camera, the body that you shoot on, and ultimately the quality of the image that it produces. With Apple's new flagship device, the iPhone 10, and their dual camera and the improved photo mode and better video quality, we've gotten to the point where mobile photography has really taken a step up and is starting to be able to compete with professional level DSLRs. So I decided to run a few experiments. I took two portraits with similar backgrounds, similar editing, and tried to get them as close as possible. Then I went to our student center and decided to ask a few questions. The first experiment was which photo they liked better regardless of what brand or which one it was. The second one, whether or not people could tell if it was an iPhone or DSLR. And the third experiment was if I changed the names and told people that the iPhone was actually a DSLR and the DSLR was actually an iPhone, would people have the same opinions? Would that change anything and would that have any influence on their final decision? The iPhone 10 runs for about $1,000 compared to my $3,000 professional level camera. Aside from the price, there's more important things like portability, comfortability, and just friendliness when you're using it. Obviously, it's way more convenient to have an iPhone in your pocket that works just as well as a professional level camera rather than having to carry around a huge camera body, another lens, SD cards, and a backpack to carry it all in. Obviously, there are a ton of variables and opinions on what makes a photo good, and I can't control for all of them, but I hope this gives a better idea of whether or not an iPhone can truly replace a DSLR camera. So the point of these experiments is to see whether the sacrifice of quality makes up for the convenience of portability. Let's get to it. Today we're testing out whether the iPhone 10 can replace a DSLR camera, so I took two pictures. Um, one with the iPhone, one with the DSLR. So first off, let me see if you guys can figure out which one is which. <laughs> uh, that one with the camera. Do you think this one's the camera? Do you think that one's the iPhone? Yeah. I think that one's the iPhone. This one's the iPhone? Okay, what about this one? <laughs> is that the camera and that the camera? Okay, why do you think that? I think that's the phone. Yeah. That like the I think that's the camera. That's the camera. That's the camera. That's the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why is that? Because that one looks like a portrait. Yeah, that's what I was just Okay, well, actually, this is the camera. This is the iPhone. Oh, I nailed it. What? I told you. This is the camera. This is the iPhone. Okay, the phone's better. Do you think the phone's better? Yeah, it's better. This is the camera. This is the phone. Yeah, it looks way better. Do you think this one's better? Yeah. Why is that? Because the lighting. So you're a photographer and videographer, so I'm going to ask you, which one do you think is worse? iPhone 10 camera. iPhone 10 is definitely worse. Because I'm guessing things like this puts you closer to the building. No, iPhone 10 is this one. Yeah, I think. Is he right? Is he right? No, these are, this is the camera, this is the iPhone 10, this is the camera, this is the iPhone 10. And as a videographer yourself, do you think that the iPhone 10 can start replacing your ideas in the I think it's just like kind of how you take it. It's more of like right. the person behind the camera than the okay. camera itself. He just has the quality to be so yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. See you later. Yeah. Just a second. Ooh. Okay, wait. Alright, let's let's do this one first. Okay. Now I've got another one. So they have differing opinions. He likes the second one, she likes the first one. Okay, what about this one? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, there. <laughs> differing again. So do you think it's iPhone? Ooh. That's a tough one. That's definitely a tough one. Which one's the professional one? I think the second one is the DSLR. Okay. What about this one? I think the first one is the DSLR. This one's DSLR? I think the ones that I like are the DSLR. These, these are the iPhones, and then the second ones were the DSLR. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, I don't think true. it completely replaces it, because it has a completely different view. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. This is the iPhone 10, and yeah. uh, this is the second picture, this is the DSLR. Okay. So, which one do you like better? First one. This one? Yes. The iPhone 10 one? Uh -huh. What if I told you that yeah, there's two? This is actually the iPhone and this is the DSLR. So ultimately, it didn't matter what the brand was. No, I think it's just like the okay. quality of the so by, yeah. Even if I told you that this was taking on the camera, like the quality is what you're Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Awesome. The iPhones, and then these are the DSLRs. Can you tell the difference? For the one on the left, I can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. and then... These are a little harder? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think the one on the right was taken with the DSLR because the picture's kind of more vibrant and kind of the focus of it is uh, more there as opposed to like the one on the left, which one's tougher, but I think the one on the right was also the DSLR. Yeah. Yeah, you got it right. All right, we're good. Yeah. Um, so do you think we're at the point where iPhones can start replacing DSLR, so as a photographer, I don't have to carry around this huge $3,000 camera, and I can literally just carry my phone. I would say, um, I would say the pictures are, are both very nice, and for those who can't see the other option, people would be very content with having the iPhone tech, um, 10 kind of camera picture with that, and you know, put it into a, an editor, and it will look just the same. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys that this is the DSLR, and then this is the iPhone 10. Which one do you guys like better? I like the DSLR better. Which I'll point to. I agree. Yeah. I, I like the DSLR. Well. Why is that? To me, it seems like the colors are a little more vibrant. Okay. Yeah, it's a little brighter. It's also a better picture view. <laughs> what if I told you guys that they're swapped? Oh, shoot. This was the iPhone 10. This was the DSLR. But you guys like the iPhone 10 better? Yeah, I think oh, I think yeah. the reason that I liked this one better is just because like. The light is yeah, better on my face. Is, yeah, the colors. Okay. Um, so in certain situations, it, it, there's a lot of variables that play into factor what makes a good photograph, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so I just got back running a few tests, and as you can see from the video, there were a lot of differing opinions. Obviously, there are a ton of variables that make a photo appealing to certain people, but for the majority, I do think that people were very impressed with the quality that the iPhone 10 was able to produce, especially in the experiments where we ran, where we swapped the names, and people still were more drawn to the better quality image. So as a photographer, my conclusion is that it depends on the occasion. What I mean by that is it depends on the event, the amount of equipment needed, whether or not I'm going to be doing photo and video. And so obviously if I'm shooting a wedding or an event or a portfolio for someone, then I'll be bringing my professional level DSLR. There's no way I could show up to a gig with an iPhone. People are going to be like, what the heck is this kid doing? But if I'm going out with my friends, I don't want to lug around another backpack to carry out all my camera gear, then yes, the iPhone 10 is a perfect substitute for my DSLR. It has amazing portrait mode. If you throw it into Lightroom, do a few edits, then the images turn out really stellar um, to the point where people can't even tell the difference, especially if they're going on social media sh sharing sites like Instagram or Facebook. That dip in quality is so minimal that people aren't, aren't even going to be able to realize it. Overall, very impressed with the photos that came out of the iPhone X. Um, they were very comparable to the DSLRs, meaning that Apple along with Samsung and all these other companies are really stepping up the game to bring mobile photography into the hands of professional photographers. For the everyday consumer, it's a huge advantage to have that portrait mode, especially if you just want to take cool pictures of your friends or subjects that with that blurry background. And, but for the people who are more interested in having that more professional look and that higher quality, then obviously the DSLRs are going to be for you. I hope this video was informative and got my message across. I just want to say thank you to Kachina and all my classmates in writing seminar for making the past semester a great time. I learned a lot as a writer and hope to continue growing throughout the next four years. Um, thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.